So we're going to do a simulation on application of forceps. Mom has pushed baby down to plus two station. Baby's LOA. And um, mom's exhausted, so needs some assist for forceps operative delivery. We're going to be using um, Tucker. These are uh, Tucker blade uh, forceps with a pseudo fenestration which is showing that there's an actual impression on the inside, but the outside blades are closed. And again, the first thing that we should do when we're applying forceps is to apply it in a phantom way so as to kind of see which way our blades are going to be. So again, LOA with the occiput on the left side. This is going to be applied in this fashion. So then I'll take my one blade off. I'll put the, um, the patient's left side blade first. In the application, this is a um, first application on the baby's head. So notice I'm holding the blade with my left hand to go on the patient's left side, and it's gonna go first on the perineum. So I'm gonna protect the perineum with my fingers. The blade goes into the patient. The first application is on the fetal head. So I now applied on the fetal head, my fingers will be holding that blade on the uh, baby, and I'm rotating my left hand against mom's thigh for a very light, easy application of that forceps onto the fetal head. So that's the first blade. Then the operator will hold that first blade and then apply the second blade opposite of the other blade. So the right hand is gonna be applying the blade on the patient's right side, again straight upward, applying it on the fetal side by holding it directly and getting it onto the head almost like perpendicular to the table. My left hand is under the actual blade, keeping the blade on the fetal head, rotating with my right hand against the thigh, and so the blade then slips onto the baby's head. After application, you can check to make sure that your blades are in a proper place. Then we will close the blades, like so, and then your force of delivery is going to be your hands, your right hand, if you're righty, under the actual blade handles like here, instead of squeezing the handles, we want to keep it under. My left hand is going to be keeping either feeling the head or keeping it on mom's symphysis, and then you will pull and traction the baby horizontally. And then once the head starts coming up, you would raise your hand up and you'll be lifting it pretty much again almost perpendicular to the table when the head is coming out. So now you can put one hand here, yeah, or you can go on the bottom right here. And then this is where you would take off the forceps if you wanted to. Yep. As you're coming in with the baby, there's your elbow peak. Exactly. And I get the other shoulder. Oh, gosh. Half-track. Yeah, exactly.